live at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront along the boardwalk by the Norwegian Lady on 25th Street. Statue, it's been there since 1962. As we continue to track a windy, wild coastal system up and down the East Coast, wind and waves pounding the beaches with more to come this weekend. Many beach communities in Hampton Roads have very little beach left, even on a good day. So when a big storm like this hits, the beaches get swallowed up. Our coverage continues with Jason Marks on the Outer Banks. But first, let's head to Deanna LeBlanc in Norfolk's Ocean View area. I'm Deanna LeBlanc in Norfolk. You can see the wind coming off of the ocean here in Ocean View is very, very strong. But that's not the only problem because look at this tidal flooding. This is several inches deep and this is receded from when it was high tide a few hours ago. Drivers are really trying to take it slow here. But earlier today, if you got to fourth view, you can see that police were turning cars around. They weren't letting anyone take that left to get up onto the highway. The water was simply simply too deep. Now we talked to some locals. They've lived through several nor'easters. They tell me this isn't the worst they've seen, but it's certainly worse than they expected. So most people don't walk around out in this. So are you crazy? Um, we were thinking about that on the way over here with the umbrellas when they started the going backwards. The only thing I can say is we're New Englanders. <laughs> so it's just like a little nor'easter coming through. We could get a slight break tomorrow, but tides could be back up again on Sunday. And this wind, it's not going to die down anytime soon. So stick with Wavy for the very latest. In Ocean View, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.